on regular radio. We are back live right now. The two hotheads where activism happens, and we have an APO on the radio. Say hello. Gentlemen. How are you, sir? Thank you for coming on. It's great to be on, man. I really appreciate you guys uh, supporting us as much as you have up there since uh, all this stuff went down. You know, uh, Boston with the Freedom Rally is an inspiration for what you guys do up there, and we're just trying to, you know, do our part uh, by being civilly disobedient. Yeah, and you have done your part recently. Let's hear it for that. Part, absolutely, man. So, thank you. So, to, so, so you got big things going on tomorrow. You have a, you have your. Uh, is this like the? It's like the seventh smoke down prohibition. Is that what it is? It's six. It's the six, and I was one ahead. And, yeah, I don't uh, know what the fuck I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, um, to last oh, sh- last smoke down, you got into a little bit of trouble. Yeah, uh, I got. Uh, I was smoking a bone, I turned around, there was a cop there, he tried to grab my arm, he did grab my arm, and then they tackled me like, uh, they are coming after Aaron Hernandez, <laughs> and they took me down, and, uh, you know, I'm just like, next thing I know, I'm in federal prison, uh, I'm in there by myself, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, someone comes in, and I'm like, you know what, everyone's working hard outside, this is gonna be fine, you know what I mean? And then they're like, they come to the cell, and they're like, open the little mail side, they're like, you're getting a celly. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, this is the part where I have to kill someone to, like, stay alive in this place and my life's never going to be the same and shit. And then I opened the door and it was Mr. Kokesh. So, uh, you know, we spent five days uh, of infamy, it kind of seems like at this point, you know, in federal detention, really feeling, you know, uh, the wrath of what the federal government can do to American citizens, which is the biggest concern, you know, from my angle. I'm a comic, man. You got me at Guantanamo Bay. This world is gone absolutely insane and so they 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 clacked you up for for smoking a bone threw you in federal pen for five days mm-hmm. and not for yeah, smoking like, a bone like the, yeah, the, 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 the yeah. charges are so what are the charges in a tell us what the charges are uh, we're looking at possibly um said it should be felony a uh, felony assault of an officer yo i read three uh testimonies from the cops that they sent to us like three guys are just, you know, lying on the record like it was just, you know, them saying I kicked them, and then they're like, they didn't even have any video evidence of when I kicked them, yeah. right? So, like, I put my intern, uh, Kyle, I'm like, yo, you fat fuck, find <laughs> video of, like the, of them, of the time that they're saying this happened, because what they, what they laid out, they're like, oh, everyone was chanting, you know, victim, no crime. Uh, he kicks me and says, I don't give a fuck about you. So, the thing is, you can hear the people chanting, no victim, no crime on the vid. And then you can hear when I say I don't give a fuck about you. I said, this is your fucking job. I don't give a fuck about it. you because they're minions of the state. I you saw know what it. I mean? like, yeah. It's like you, I watch every angle and you didn't do anything. They attacked you and Kokesh. We all saw it. And they assaulted you. And, and the yeah. charges are completely bullshit. And we know it because we saw it on video from like 100 different angles. Right. And it's just <laughs> yeah, fraudulent. Right. It's fucking 9-11 tapes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah. It's like crazy. How does so, it feel to be a walking Building 7? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? yeah, they took me down like a house of cards, man. Yeah. <laughs> what can you expect? Like, what are you going to do tomorrow? Are you going to show up at this thing? What can, like, are you, like, what are you going to do tomorrow? All right, well, the most, the most ridiculous thing is is that I, through my pretrial services, not only do I have to piss in a goddamn cup, mm. I have to also, uh, I'm banned from the Liberty Bell. Okay. Uh, in America, someone is now banned from the Liberty Bell. So that says a lot about our liberty, in my opinion. So what we're doing is, I did a lot of activism with, like, fucking anarchists that are on food stamps, and they would always march. So we were like, look... They took us down. They think they're going to take us out and take us away from doing this. I'm like, let's make this a normal march. They attacked us. Our response is to take them to the streets. Let's let people know that it's not just assholes in purple pants and faggots with bolo ties that want marijuana legalized. It's, it's all people from all walks of life, you know? Mm-hmm. So we're going to march, and then we're going to land at the Liberty Bell, which is already caged in. I made a stop by there today. I didn't walk on the property. Yeah. Uh, and... You know, we're going to make a stand every month until, you know, the, the mainstream media is the worst. Thank God for the networks we all have. But the mainstream media has to come rep- start reporting on shit like this, you know? know? It's getting worse and worse, too. It's so true. What do you expect your turnout to be? Oh, well, you know, like, how about this, right? I've been doing events for, like, two years. So Facebook did, like, fucking 490 or something like that. So I'm thinking maybe 220. 220 will look good in the streets. You know what I mean? Sure and maybe will. people will be out there, you know? I, I hope activists are born out of this, man. Like, 
things happen sometimes to people, and then it's like, yo, that's like enough. They're taking out little hairy men. Yeah, I can't imagine that they won't eat. I mean, there was a good crowd last time. The crowds have been getting good for you guys. I can't imagine that it wouldn't be bigger. I mean, it's just getting, yeah. Awesome. I mean, that's the plan, but they, you know, the hard part about this is, like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to march an elephant down Market Street to, to smoke downs from now. I mean, we're running out of ways to take on the system. We need the attention. And, you know, I want to realize we because I'm a comic, and it helps me write, and, and, you know, shit like that. But we've met so many people along this journey that, like, really have, like, issues, and everyone wants to be bureaucratic about everything. It's like, there's people dying and shit. There's people, you know, fucked up from war, like... The veterans are the worst. Like, support the fucking troops. Like, that, that, that's like the most empty statement that the government says. Yeah, because a lot of the troops could actually be benefited from smoking weed, you know, if it was legal yeah. for them to do so. Do you have an organization Dude, I, I, in Pennsylvania that's trying to change the laws from the inside? We do. We have uh, this gentleman named Dale Leach that was a state senator, I believe. Don't quote me. And now he's running for Congress. And I've met him. He's a former, um, you know, former... He was actually a former comic. Like he messed around with comic. He's got a he's a really nice guy. He gets behind the GMO bills, all the shit that hippies want done. Which I'm not necessarily <laughs> a hippie, but I'm with hippies on most things. Um, but you know, he he has a bill in there. But I mean, like the lobbying and all that shit. That's not really our game, man. We want to have fun. We want to like get people like out there. But now it seems like the people are starting to uh, the legislative slot side of uh, pot activism is picking up in Pennsylvania, and that's exciting. Yeah. That's what you need to change. That's what changed things here. The whole yeah, and it's hard. Changed. It's hard. Like I went down to Washington. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, this is just not. Like I, I, Panic Hour kind of has like a post political view. Like we don't think there should be someone that, you know, they tell us to vote for that's going to change things for our better. So I'm just not going to get involved with that side of it. Uh, you know, and I feel like we can be effective in our, our own ways. Uh, but yeah, you have been. To put them seats on. And you have been. I mean, so far, I mean, what what you're doing is definitely effective because it's a subject. I mean, you're looking at the. Uh, the normal groups are there, normal women's alliance. The the groups are getting something out of it for being there, and if they if they weren't, they wouldn't keep coming back to them. So they they like no. you and they're supporting you. There's not even a question, and I think that's cool. I like what you're doing because there's a role for you. You're doing what you do best, and sticking to it. And I think that's the way what people should actually think. You know, that's what they should. Yeah, do. no, I, I appreciate that. I've been to all types of protests, and I was always so bored. And it's like, well, we need to put a comedic spin on it, and pot is perfect for us because. We love pot, you know what I mean? And we're just trying to have fun. Uh, so, I mean, it's nice to be able to, you know, be well-received with it. I just hope that at some point it gets effective. You know, we figure after that kind of arrest, maybe people will come out a little bit more, and that would build the movement, which is, you know, what we need to do. Not to mention that people involved in activism, like pot, can be a gateway activism. We oh, went to a is. drone. Yeah. Yeah. You think? Yeah. You think? Yeah. We, we, yeah. Did, we went to a drone uh, protest today, and I spoke, and I spoke about... You know, I think our campaign for drones is bones, not drones. We might yeah. see. Like, <laughs> That's what we like. That's a good one. Yeah, like, that. like that, that. That goes a lot further than being a politician. I think coming up with slogans like That's that. That's a great chant. Yeah. 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 It yeah. does. Yeah. It, has, it has more like you know. It's yeah. going to go yeah. further. Uh, the King of Pot is here in April, and I want to introduce you to him. His wife Valerie has actually been asking you some questions already. She's here. Uh, my co-host, Frank Capone, that's who's in the studio. And we also have Big Naz. I want to make sure you know everyone who's here. But I think the King hey, of Pot has hello. a... Yeah, hello. Hey, I, I, I think all, the King of Pot has a question like for you. To me. I, a, yeah. I just want I just, I just to <laughs> chime king. in here. All right, man. I ain't no king. I pass it over to you. What, yo, uh, what you are doing, what, you, what, I, what I'm hearing, and, you know, I just came to light because Mike uh, gave me this information about you. Sorry, I didn't know what was going on. You know, I was ignorant to it until now. But what I'm seeing wow. and what I'm hearing and what you're doing is like my uh, my type of thing. I say get out there. I say put it, you know, you know, lobby, put it in their face. Uh, but you went the, the next step, dude. I mean, you actually got arrested, put into a federal penitentiary, you're telling me, a federal a jail, and you got the balls enough to say, y'all going back out there to do this, man. Man, let me tell you, that, that means a lot to me because I have been waiting for somebody like you to come along. I know about the New Jersey weed man and things like that and what he's been doing, but uh, hearing this, that you're going back like that to do that, man, all the power to you. If I could be down there with my production company tomorrow, dude, I would be there. 
I would be there tomorrow with my production company filming you because that's what I do. I'm KOPproductions.com plus I'm the king of pot and activist like yourself. But you're taking it to the next level. And thank you. And I wish you all the luck in the world tomorrow. I really appreciate that, man. It, it, it really means a lot. We're just, we didn't think it would go this way, but, you know, like, all this is just adapting, I guess. So is, is Kokesh coming up, or is he too busy planning his fucking <laughs> Yahoo, <laughs> Yahoo match <laughs> on Washington? Uh, yeah. No, I think he... Yo, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he cancel that yet? Uh, <laughs> That's all good. You know, Kokesh is a very interesting guy because yeah. we didn't know each other. It was kind of like we were both kind of like personality you know, when we first met, and then after two days in jail, I'm like, look, dude, I miss my fucking girlfriend. You want to write a manifesto? Go ahead. <laughs> 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 yeah. like, like, you know, like he's got like his fucking, uh, you know, he tried to hand me a uh, paper at one point. Oh, is he? Like, oh, is this, he... Is, this, this isn't mine, comp, bro. I'm not taking <laughs> that. You know what I mean? Like, man. <laughs> but, 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 Did he not called. talk to you either? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was fucking ridiculous. Because the thing is, too, is like I, we got out and we like we have libertarian friends, like a lot of them, and we fucking love them because they don't even want to smoke marijuana. They just want you to be free, and you're like, yes. fuck it, that's cool. I can ride with that. But uh, a lot of his crowd is like very militant, and they started coming to the panic hour right after I got out of jail, and we just were like, look, we're comics, we're fucking off, and it's like you're gonna like you know, get offended by what we're doing here, then, like, move on. And actually, we kept a lot of them. So, dude, we want to be, like, the glue between, like, the far left, the far right, like, whoever. Like, let's get all together, support each other, and, like, take down who really is the problem. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're all about, yeah. yeah. We're actually, you know, a lot of us, I'm a libertarian, you know, and and Frank comes from a libertarian viewpoint, but I think he's more socialist, but I don't know. But, uh, (laughs) but, you know, I think that's what... Market socialist. What our show show is about, too. It's bringing the left, those two groups together, because I think that... uh, we, it's about the issues. We all agree on marijuana, just about you know. So like, let's focus on the issues that we can we can actually get something done on. Yeah, without a doubt, I was. Just, I actually smiled to myself the other day because you know what? Like I've like I've been a mental hospital dude for like that seventy two hour thing. Not total crazy, just like uh, broad that drove me crazy. And uh, like I've been in jail before, and like to take the time, I was sitting <laughs> in the room the other day. It was a Marine sergeant in Iraq and in Kosovo a far-left anarchist and, like, a libertarian personality, like, sitting in my office in my shitty apartment, all discussing how we can be successful doing this marijuana thing. So, I mean, like, you know, in Philly, that's what we're doing. We're we're putting it all aside. We're trying to just get things done. Yeah. What what did your girlfriend do to you to make you snap? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, We went out for seven years. And then I used to take her to this nice, like, Italian restaurant where they fucking, like, make your own bread and pour you, like, anazette that they made and shit. And we broke up. And then, like, six months later, she fucking was dating the waiter from the fucking joint. Oh. And, like, yo, dude, I'm breaking this guy off, like, when we go there. We oh. go there, like, once every six weeks, and I'd, like, you know, tip him 30 or 40% oh. or something like that. You know what I mean? And then she's ripped his jerk off like I want to jump in front of the fucking train. No, 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 no. You don't jump in front of a train. You push the guy in front of the train. You go and you watch. You go and watch Black Belt Jones by Jim Kelly. (laughs) (laughs) And you go in there and you go and chip teeth. That's what you do. Don't don't let this comedy. I'm a comedian too, and I'm all. And if I have to, I'll fuck someone up, and that's a fuck up. You should have went in there and whooped his ass in front of her, and then been like, see. You left me for a faggot, and then you walk away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're, we're coming up there in September. We're coming up there in September. Uh, my friend uh, Dustin C- Coffin does this uh, this thing called the Weediculous Comedy Tour. So he shot a hundred hours of shit, and we met when he interviewed us from the Panic Hour. And now I think me and him are going to go on the road. We're going to like smoke in weird places, like smoke like Roswell, New Mexico. And like near Area 51, and we're gonna come up and do the Freedom Rally and all that shit. So we're looking forward to coming up there next month. Hopefully, we can all yeah. get Yeah, awesome, dude. Yeah. We gotta smoke up together when you get here. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. KOP will have something yeah. special for you. Yeah, you better take him up on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ask anybody in here. And listen, I What's just want to. KOP look like? I figure he looks like Dr. Timothy Leary or something like that. No, he's, no, like no, he's more I'm like, like, a I'm like the Sicilian Mafia. Yeah. You know, the Godfather. Like <laughs> yeah, I look at him as the, like the John Travolta, like he's like uh, like you know Saturday Night Live Ty- turn to Saturday weed. Night fever. Type in, yeah, type Saturday in the fever. King Excuse of Pot, the King of Pot dot com. That's my website, and you'll see me, you'll see Mike, and I also have a production company, KOP Productions dot com. So check those two out, and you'll see no, who I, I am. Will. Are you Italian? 
Yeah, I'm a whole Italian man. Oh, then well, you'll then you'll know what I look you. like. You mean you will be talking like this pretty soon? Your like uncle, Dr. Frank. <laughs> he looks like your hey. uncle. That's yeah, what it is. He goes. Yeah, he looks yeah. like your uncle. And tomorrow, when you're walking in there, man, you be ten Milan Brandos, okay? Yeah, no, I'm tr- I'm trying to. It's funny. I watched the Sopranos. It was, it was weird timing. Right before I got arrested, we were finishing up the seven the, the Sopranos, and then Gandolfini died. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. You know, being a, being Italian to a certain extent. It kind of has, like, I have something in my blood where it's like, these fucks want to shut us down. Like, that's okay. right. Exactly. You've, You've got the Sicilian and the Italian combined, and that's what's going to get it done. And I say go <laughs> out and do it. Don't tell anybody. I'm a descendant of Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Really? That's what I was wondering. Really? really? Are you really? Really? No, when I was that's in a band. Lie. Lie. Yeah, no shit, right? Oh, like, he's not fucking Italian. You had us. Is, you, is Poe your real last name? I can't say my real last name. It, it, well, it's Samaggio. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can't say my real last name. You just said it. <laughs> 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 You're like me. Yeah. So, so tomorrow, all, all the gangsters in Boston are fucking Irish, right? Yeah. Older, yeah. The kids from Departed. So you want to say the ones that got caught? Well, I'm fucking well, exactly. the, 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 the retards that work with the cops are the Irish ones. <laughs> yeah. Now, getting back yeah. to tomorrow, yeah. are you going to make sure there's plenty of video coverage of this uh, from every fucking angle you can? Because yeah. do, do you anticipate? Because, I mean, just knowing what I know, I anticipate that they're going to be watching for you guys. They already got the pen set up. And, you know, yeah. what, are you prepared and are you ready? Do you have uh, a backup plan as to if something happens? Yeah, we actually, this time, uh, you know, I think the funny thing is, is they thought that because we fuck off so much that we're not serious organizers. And I felt like when they, like, came at us like that, I thought they think that we would back down. Uh, we have multiple plans. Dude, we have a army truck leading the march yeah mike salvi's world <laughs> yeah i got a kid here that has a um it's an engineer that has a drone plane i just want, to, <laughs> I want the federal government to be like we arrested this skinny comic and he came back with a you know an army truck and a drone plane uh, <laughs> and we're marching in the street <laughs> it's funny isn't it yeah I mean, it like, is it's, it's not going to be funny you know when i'm in federal court and you know what scares me about federal court is that like i've heard a lot lately that there was a dude in jersey right he had ms and he had 17 plants in his house, okay? But when he went to court, they wouldn't let him say that he had that mess. Right. What if, like, the government and judge, like, cock blocks me, where, like, I can't say anything about the fact that there's 100 people there and they only arrested me and Kokesh and Furrows and fucking Yeah, cases. I like, mean, it's, You know, like, the government can very easily, like, limit me. And I'm not going to piss in a cop and be responsible for the government. I want to get on the road. I want to motivate people. I want to fucking build theaters in other places and shit like that. Like, like Fight Club. Yeah. But... But uh, yeah. like, <laughs> but not like my club. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to blow everyone up in the end. Hey, let me ask you. <laughs> we have we do we're running out of time. We have to uh, uh, wrap this up. But the last question is: What when is this federal court case? Like, what's going to happen next? What is the next step? What's the deal? Okay, well, I, uh, I I took an extension from like when they could charge me. I gave them another thirty days to charge me because we're going back and forth on pleas. But I have a line on my pleas. Like, you know what I mean? They're not going to own me. They're going to fucking find me, and I'm going to walk, or we'll go to trial. So I'm waiting to hear back on uh, you know when my first court date is. And I mean, like, if they want a circus trial, they could have like a circus trial. I'm going to go in there like fucking Larry Flint. Nice. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Nice. I mean, you, got, you got all the evidence in the world that shows you didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like the thing is, is the cops made and it that way. Dude. Like, we had what five a waste. people protest. A waste of resources. Us? Yeah, they, they attacked you. I mean, they, yeah, they no, went they right after you. For it's marijuana, so... the people of Pennsylvania have got to stand up for this and well, say, wait a minute, if, they, if it does get televised or people get wind of it, that they're, it's a waste of resources. Yeah. Which I doubt 80 fucking, 80 cops from five different agencies. Yeah. And like that's Who's another paying? thing that's about targeting money. activists. That's my tax money. You have that many people there and you're waiting through the crowd to get to two people. Yeah. And it's selective prosecution. And if American government is fucking taking out leaders of fucking movements, would you be surprised? Everyone gets a fucking bull in their head. Am I it's fucking JFK? Obviously scandal. not. I'm Italian. But at the same time, <laughs> like we didn't stand up for each other. Hey, where did fucking where did Mike go? They fucking black bagged him. Oh, okay, where is he? No one fucking knows. Like we need to get this information out. Scary. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, hey, brother. Best yeah. of luck tomorrow, man. We, yeah, we, we really will be appreciate watching all your work and, and the sacrifices. You Good made luck to further fucking justice uh, for the rest of us. We'll be watching. And, uh, just, uh, just so you know, earplugs don't work against LRADs. 
you need some yeah. other type of, um, you know, diffusing uh, sound wave <laughs> to get rid of an LRAD or an EMP. You can look on YouTube how to make EMPs. Um, that'll take care of an LRAD, too. I don't know so if that's just talking some, about EMPs. Uh, that's just some stuff to help well, maybe, you. You know what? After this, we might need to contract you guys. It's <laughs> <laughs> like some fucking Terminator war on the street. <laughs> yeah, we know all the rules. Crazy. We know all the little yeah. back little tricks of the, of, the, of the... Yeah, but it's it's just, stunning. Uh, if you hear, I hear by the clear this un- unlawful assembly, I would probably go the other way. I don't know if you saw the G20 videos, but <laughs> it won't, end. It won't yeah, end well. I, well, the thing is, I'm going to have to be out of it. I can't be in. I, yeah, I can't be on the property, so I'm handing it over to my top guys when we get down there. Chris Goldstein and uh, Mike Bowen, they're going to be handing it over to my top guys when we get down there. Chris Goldstein, uh, a veteran, and Weed Man, they're going to make the call on how it goes down. And, uh, you know, I didn't think that we'd be carting activists away for pot, but we brought, like, a Black, a blacker cultural activist thing to pot, which maybe it should have to happen because it's a civil rights movement now. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. Oh, yeah, sure. And Chris Goldstein's could be a good the beginning dude. Of so something. You got, a, you got up, good people. people there. So glad to. Yeah, I I, let me let, let you guys go. It'd be great yeah. fucking talking to you, and we'll hang out uh, in September, hopefully. Sounds good, NA. Hey, man. Thanks for calling in. Good luck. Great. We, we do got to wrap it up. Yeah. We got to say goodbye. Thank you, uh, Big Nez behind the board. I'll be here. That's I'll be right. here next week too. Bro. Oh, really? Are you our regular now? Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Look at a smooth here. talking producer. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna yeah. keep the jams Very funky. And I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the king of pot doing imitations. That's right. And uh, so new side, do that again, King Pot. You got one. He more. won't come do on, it. On, come on, one more. That, no, that was he's like a, shy now. <laughs> he's all he's coy got and something shit. good now. He's like, Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna save that. Yeah. yeah. So we are the two hotheads. We're actually missing I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, go. We had the the queen of pot, Valerie. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, I love my Val. The king of pot. <laughs> Thank you, as always, yeah. for having me on. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. We got Mike. We got Frank. The can man. The can the man. The can man. The can man. That's can right. Man. I don't have a cool... And thank you, Frank Capone. I, I don't have a cool nickname. I'm just Frank Capone. Thanks for the... FC. FC. <laughs> Cap, you can call me Cap One. Cap One. Frank Capone for Congress? Maybe. Are you running? That's the last question before we... I know Capone you're for Congress. Congress. Are, are you the running, ex- Frank? Uh, the exploratory committee is still in effect. I'm uh, put, dr- crossing really? my eyes, dotting my T's, figuring out whether or not... I'm putting together a, a campaign committee right now and seeing if I can actually put one together. And if I can put one together, hell, I might run. So uh, we got City wow. Citywide Blackout coming out next. The local music show. That's right. On Keep it locked. Radio. Two hotheads. Back next week. Peace.